Mac T back, folks, and we're going to go ahead and try to clean our AC coil, our oil transmission fluid oil cooler, and our radiator. And I have uh, some of this web coil cleaner. Just bought it off the big box store shelf uh, because AC coils are AC coils, essentially. Uh, you know, this is a 2011, and and oh, most all. Ford edges and other vehicles need to have a little cleaning once in a while and since I've never cleaned my coils and uh, radiator with any type of water or cleaner I figured why not give it some maintenance often neglected so let's go ahead and get rid of some bugs and dirt and anything else that's bad gathered up in there and loosen it up with this stuff because it says it's gonna clean air conditioner heat pumps and condenser and evaporator coils so, hey, should work out pretty good. Uh, directions on it, turn system off or disconnect power to unit while cleaning, shake can well, spray liberally on condenser fins or evaporator coils and allow cleaner to break down residue and dirt for several minutes. Rinse off with spray of water, self rinsing on condensate pro producing coils and uh, for heavy solid buildup, repeat application. A 19 ounce can will cover and clean one large unit su and suggest two times a year. So, hey, uh, never mind the neighbors, they're having a great day moving into their house next door. But either way, uh, hey, let's give this a shot and see what it does to clean. First things first, they say to shake this can up. gonna go ahead and shake her up like I already did and then we want to go ahead and spray uh, we want to spray across everything that we got here and then down here also so you're gonna have to spray down a little bit and up but either way we can get this thing covered and uh, hopefully we get it close enough and it foams into the radiator a little bit but we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot As you can see, it foams up quite a bit. So I'm hoping that foam is getting into that uh, radiator and getting down in there. Sort of hard to get up into everything. can be hard to get into the actual radiator part without taking the fan out. I'm not going to take the fan out. We're going to shoot everything back through that, through the radiator with the garden hose. And don't use a high pressure washer or anything like that. Just a garden hose, a straight stream will be fine. We'll go ahead and let this set and soak in for a little bit and then we'll rinse it off. By the way, just doing the front like I did, nice and heavy, I used uh, two-thirds of this can. Now you ask yourself, well, why am I cleaning it? Well, you want to clean it because it makes the fans work less. The better the air flow through, the more efficient the cooling is. Therefore, less chances of overheating. The fan doesn't have to work as hard because you're getting more air flow through the cooler, through the radiator, through the condenser and the oil cooler. So, uh, cleanliness, of course, helps air flow. So, if you haven't done this and yours is 10, 11 years old or even older, uh, even five years and you live in a lot of dirty, dusty environments, it's time to get a cleaning done. Uh, I've neglected this for years. I haven't done it and never had a problem. But, hey, why not clean it and make sure that it operates at best efficiency? 
looks like it's penetrating in there pretty good soaking up so we'll be washing it here after a few minutes give it about five minutes to set there and then we'll go ahead and hose her down and see what we got as far as dirt and grime I decided to throw some of these uh, white shop towels that I bought on Amazon link down below but uh, put them down there to see if uh, we can see any kind of dirt or anything that is uh, coming out of this when I go ahead and hose it down I got this set at jet so we'll go ahead and give her a clean up holy cow That foam's everywhere. So it goes all the way through, as you can see. Pretty good. So just spray it down and clean it up. It goes all the way through, both the coil and the radiator. Yeah, that's the foam that's uh, came out. So these are the rags. See some dirt and other garbage and sand and everything else that came out of there. So those are all little particles that are blocking cooling veins. So they're out of there. Don't see a lot of, you know, black dirt or anything like that coming out, dust. But uh, definitely got some small particles. Look at that. Cleaned all that out of there. And those are inside these here. So they got kicked out. Don't know if there's any real difference in the before or after, but this is the after. As far as the cleaning goes. Hey folks, that's it. Uh, that's how we clean the old, uh, yeah, the old uh, condenser, transmission cooler, and radiator all in one shot. Uh, once I get it put back together, I don't know if it'll be any better for cooling, but hey, at least I did my part. Remember, like, subscribe, join this YouTube channel. Hit that like button, share the videos, get me over there, folks. Well, 500 likes. That's all you got to do is hit the like button when you watch it. It's easy. So, yeah, I'm done begging. Anyway, my feet hit the floor today. I'm having a great day. I want you to have a great day, too. Remember, Mac T Ford Edge on MeWe and also Facebook. And, uh, hey, Mercy Grill's always got a one-liner for you. And Band of One's always playing some sort of music. Thank you for watching Mac T's videos. And remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Go production. <laughs>